It is a super cool roguelite game. Um, pretty different from Slay the Spur. In Dicey Dungeons, you're playing on a just bizarre cursed game show uh, held by Lady Luck here, who has decided to trap you forever in her, her game show, in the, in the dungeons, uh, as a giant fighting dice. And you fight against colorful and bizarre enemies with uh, dice-based combat. It's been a total blast so far, and I'm really looking forward to uh, diving a little deeper here. Dicey has six classes that we've got unlocked. The Warrior, who is very much about rolling high and dealing front-loaded damage. The Thief steals enemy equipment and has an emphasis on getting low rolls on your dice. The Robot doesn't roll dice in the normal way, but instead you have to generate dice one at a time with uh, computational power. The Inventor is constantly breaking down equipment and turning them into temporary gadgets. Um, the Witch uses a different equipment system from everybody else and it constantly swaps out spells in her spellbook. And the Jester has a deck of cards instead of the usual backpack of equipment. They all play pretty differently from each other, um, which has added a lot of replayability to this so far. Hey, Bob the Snake! The Ascension Streak is alive and well. We just beat Ascension 7 with the defect, so it'll be Ascension 8 when we return to that um, on Monday. Oh, by the way, our bonus stream this week is going to be on Monday at our usual start time. I forgot to mention this like seven times. Um, I've got a funeral to go to tomorrow, so Monday makes the most sense for when that'll happen. Which class do I play as, is the question. We've got episode 3 completed with most of the characters. We failed it last time on the Inventor. I would actually like to get revenge on, uh, on the Inventor. Um, the second episode has all of our equipment with, uh, a certain amount of durability. Or sorry, the third episode has all of our equipment having a certain amount of durability, and when we when we ran out of that, um, bad things happened all at once. We could also rely on the die of fortune. Where did I put that? It fell on the floor. It's out of my line of sight, certainly. Hello, dice. It's gone. It's gone. Let's play the let's play episode three with the inventor. I want to get revenge here. <laughs> Make a petition to delete the thief from the game. So the rules for this one were: don't create gadgets after each fight. All equipment is reusable. All equipment breaks after four uses, and broken equipment immediately becomes a gadget. Ah. And now the moment we've all been waiting for: ah. the inventor's upcoming demise. So our inventor on this challenge starts with a hammer, a duplicate, which is, again, reusable, so we can create as many dice as we want as quickly as possible, and the short sword. Let's jump right on into... Uh, right on into a fight so we can show off how they work. So this is our gadget. Gadgets are a once-per-turn thing we can activate just by clicking on it. They're very good. Um, and then in every fight, we, we roll a certain number of dice, depending on our level. We start with two dice. And we need to use those in our equipment pieces to be able to deal damage. So let's use the short sword once, and then make this a six. In this challenge, our equipment breaks after we use it a certain number of times, so... Spreading out our damage, or uh, our uses of equipment, is a good idea. If equipment becomes a gadget, um, then the equipment is removed here and we get a new gadget with a different effect. The gadget's effect is dependent on what piece of equipment was used to make it. We win! So we should be looking to gather up equipment. A staff! We put eight total dice into it. This is a countdown item. Um, 
The various items require different roles, like a short sword can only hold up to a four, a duplicate needs a minimum of a four, hammer takes anything but does stuff depending on what you put in, and a staff um, requires that we put in a certain total, eight in this case, of dice before it'll trigger its effect. All right, well, Fuppy, bring it on. Since we're going to replace our current gadget soon, we might as well keep using it for now. Put the staff to use. Burn is one of the many status effects we can inflict upon our uh, opponents. And it causes one of their dice to become flaming. If they use that die, they take two damage. The same can happen to us. The same can happen to us. Alright. Got our level up. Got an extra dice now. Two more pieces of equipment. The sword, which does damage based on whatever die we put into it, and the short sword. Or a second short sword, I should say. We'll swap our sword out for the hammer. Or our hammer up for the sword, excuse me. And I think put this duplicate away for now. This is a useful item later. We want to pick and choose our fights pretty carefully, I think. Um, since every every fight is going to consume a certain amount of equipment, we got to be careful with that. Well, use our focus gadgets. Might as well. Gonna use this entire sword on the, the on the sneezy. Zoom tight, sneezy. Zoom tight. Enemies work really similarly to how we do. They have uh, varying pieces of equipment that we can look at at any turn, uh, and a certain number of dice. And so they they roll the dice and then choose how to use it. Usually dealing damage or inflicting status effects. Some enemies are giant jerks. This is not a good roll. But this is a good turn for our limit break. The limit break for focus... Our, sorry, our limit break. Every character has a limit break. Um, which is a... special ability that you can use after you've taken a certain amount of damage. Dual with focus hammer hammer. I could have. I could have, but then I would have lost two uses on the hammer. And one use on, what, the, the duplicate? That's all about... In this challenge, it's all about rationing the equipment use. Get him. Uh, so we just want to break our sword. Which immediately becomes a new gadget, the Plasma Gun. Dealing 5 damage. Uh, let's put duplicate into play for now. Do I like the art style? I do. I quite. I think it's it's really a lot of really cute things going on in this game that are super adorable. This rolls. Yeah, we should use our short sword for the value we can get out of it. Better. And before I break a piece of equipment and get a new gadget, I'd like to use at least a couple. Uh, of uses of the old one. Ow. Our opponent rolled really well. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Guess we just use the staff. It'll break this gadget, and that's okay. To the blue torch, which does three fire damage. We also level up. I think I'm gonna take the grindstone. We took this last time. It's a equipment that increases the durability of all equipment, including your current gadget, by one. We'll probably want to use that later. Healing crystal. Recover some health. Not thrilled by that. I am not thrilled by that. Keyblade does three damage, return the die. I think we're gonna need the extra piece of equipment that this staff represents. I could also get the upgrade. 
So we'll fight that pirate. We'll fight the pirate. Upgrading a piece of equipment also resets its durability, so I want to you upgrade something that's gotten some use. So let's do that with the Keyblade, actually. And upgrade the Keyblade. Yeah, that'll work. We're gonna try to store one Keyblade, just like last time, but we're not gonna screw it up this time. <laughs> Unlike last time. Unlike last time. Let's get this down to one. Hit him with a staff. Hit him with a short sword. And if we're lucky, we'll roll a four to, uh, to kill this turn. We did not. Oh, wait, we haven't got a blowtorch, though. Blowtorch! And what? Replace the short sword? Yeah. Yeah. For that, we got a hacksaw, split a dice in three. I don't know that that was worth uh, the equipment durability we lost. We're gonna upgrade our keyblade. Restore its durability. See, the one goes to a four. And then we're going to store the Keyblade in the backpack for a long, long time and totally forget about it. Brilliant. Okay. Um, I'm probably not going to fight this bully because I don't think whatever one piece of equipment's behind him is going to be worth the equipment durability we have to lose to kill him. Rod sword's great though. Damage plus two. Or die plus two of damage. Excellent. 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 Time to use that hammer. The Maharshmallow. We should just let our gadget do some work in this fight. So that we can get through without taking too much damage to our equipment, not to ourselves. The equipment that's actually far more important. And we can use the healing crystal to let this go to work. Dice that are, when we have the frozen status effect, our highest die um, goes down to a one, which is pretty rude. There we go. A little bit of damage, but we'll be fine. Every time we level up, we heal all the way back up to full. Only have one dollar. What do you have? Shuffle for two. We probably just want to buy whatever's cheapest between these two stores. We got on sorceress. So I'm gonna plasma gun her. That breaks the gadget. We will hammer her, giving us a new gadget that says shock three equipment. We now shock all her equipment. And let's work on the staff. I wonder what the gadget you get from the healing crystal does. Just so rude. <laughs> Do 
you would stop rolling sixes, I would really appreciate it. Sincerely. Hey. We're a winner! Alright, so we got back up to full health, got an extra dice, we get this piece of equipment, counterfeit, duplicate a die, very good, and we have two dollars. Could buy a Keyblade with, but Lament and Venus fight, Flytrap, which do damage equal to the die that's in them, are pretty good. And the shovel is pretty similar. I think we want that shovel. We just need big pieces of equipment to put our sixes into to uh, to do damage with. So that's the hope. That is the hope. We'll put that away for the moment until we need a new... Uh... Until we need a new piece of equipment. Super Stereo Head? This Kraken is just not worth fighting. So I think I just fight Snowman and we'd be on our way. Get two more pieces of equipment. I think fighting either the Stereo Head or the Kraken is just going to degrade our equipment more than it's worthwhile. More than it's worthwhile. And we should bring our staff, because the Snowman's weak to fire. Uh, am I going to be able to kill him with this? Yes. So, being weak to something means he takes double damage from that thing. Bonk him a little bit. I want to use the plasma gun one more time, so I'm not going to kill him this turn. I will dunk him repeatedly. Keyblade is damaged and then immediately refunds the die that you spent on it. Which is a pretty good deal. If you ask me. Uh, let's actually just... So again, this will do 12, and then I'll immediately get a gadget. That'll do... More than 12. So we can use a gadget multiple times per turn if we create a new gadget by breaking a piece of equipment in the middle of the turn. Got another staff, good. And a two-handed sword. Do die damage equal to the two dice that are inside of it. Here's the last floor before the boss. I'm definitely going to level up, so we're going to fight several enemies here. I have to fight the beetle and the skeleton, and then I might as well fight either the paper knight, who seems totally worth it, or the wicker man. Um, let's put our staff away for now. We want to use the staff on enemies that are weak to fire, so both of these enemies are weak to fire. So we'll use it then. And I will take probably the two-handed sword. Counterfeit and Duplicate are very similar. I think, uh, Counterfeit. Shovel two-handed sword into the fight against the, uh... Nerds that we're about to go into. We probably want to use the Grindstone soon. Hmm. Grindstone on Broadsword Duplicate Keyblade? Probably? Yeah, probably. So this is our loadout for now. Hopefully that's enough to kill something. Plasma Blaster, do damage. I like it. Hmm. 
Let's go ahead and focus. Make some more dice. So I could kill him right now. But I want to get another use out of the blue torch, I think. Is that going to matter, actually? Yes, that is going to matter. I don't want to break the counterfeit just yet. Each gadget is bound to one equipment, that's right. That is correct. So we break our two-handed sword, we get a plasma gun. A lot of a lot of different gadgets give the or a lot of different equipment gives the plasma gun. Pretty common one. Toxic ooze. Ooh, do damage on a six add two poison. That's pretty dang good. Technically similar to the broadsword. Similar to. But not necessarily better than. Let's use that against. Is a skeleton strong against poison? Probably, right? He's a skeleton. He's a skeleton. So, probably. Let's use our staff on the paper knight. Get some healing next. He's undead, cast healing at him! Get him! So, clone device duplicates all dice. Which we are definitely gonna put to use. I'm just gonna like burn through everything I have here. I don't want her to hit me. I'm telling on you. You're gonna be in so much trouble. We cheated. You might have cheated just a little bit. Yeah, duplicating all your dice is um, pretty good. There's our second Keyblade. Um, so we want to use that. Yeah, we're gonna make another Keyblade Plus. This time we're actually gonna succeed at uh, using it properly. Uh, we're gonna grindstone up some of our good stuff. Yeah, there we go. Should work just fine. And then the last battle we want to have, what, Keyblade, Keyblade, like... Duplicate Plasma Blaster? Something like that? See how this goes for me. Oh, he's not strong against poison, interestingly. Also, we totally rolled badly enough that I'm not sure Commander, I want to bother. We just received the support of another Azurios, council member. Azurios, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the council. Enjoy your new emotes, the community, and your newfound smug sense of breaking all your stuff to kill things. Welcome aboard. Thanks for supporting the stream. Okay, really do... Well, let's, let's use one four in the broadsword here. This guy has 50 health, which is a lot. We are gonna level up here, so that's fine, that's fine. Cursing me! So Cursed inflicts a status that says all of our equipment has a 50% chance to fail. Which is super rude. I'm gonna use that on the Keyblade here. Perfect. So we 
and grind up. Is that gonna grind up the invisible? It doesn't matter. Actually, it does not matter. So reinforce everything. Oh, they can go above. Oh man, they can go above. Uh, oh, she didn't know that. Not know they could go above. Six uses. Very cool. It's ready to keep light. I hope not. It's even got all the uses, too. Nice. We winners! So we're at full health, we got an extra die, and we can either upgrade or copy an equipment. Let's copy a piece of equipment. We'll copy the 8-use Keyblade Plus. Um, oh, it only gets... Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, so now it's, an, it's another 8-use Keyblade Plus. Uh, so what I'm going to do for the final battle is... Just break everything. Just break everything. Are there any infinites in this game? Not... Uh, yes, there is at least one that I've heard of. Not too many, though. Not as many as Spire has, because the equipment isn't as complicated, usually. But it does exist, almost certainly. Upgrade the ooze? Or we can upgrade shovel? Or broadsword. Ooh, plasma blasters actually. Yeah, whatever. Upgrade broadsword. That's just better than the use, actually. It's just better than the use. Okay, three keyblades and a broadsword. Apparently, we are now Kingdom Hearts, and we're fighting Madison, the Girl Scout leader of Doom. Yeah, if our equipment breaks, we lose. That happened to us uh, last time we tried this exact episode. Madison is immune Commander, to afraid. regrettably, our Whoa. briefs have recently been contaminated with alien cum. Obviously, Super we Zoom. are extremely Bombing impressed. Bombing the chat up with five gift subs. Thank you so much for those incredibly generous gift subs to... Nox Archeum, Messias, Avox Silence, Shammy Codon, and Champion Beef. Welcome, everybody. Two of the council enjoy your new emotes, the community, and your newfound smug sense of miserable Girl Scout cookies. Welcome aboard. Do you guys want to see something cool? I think we might have her. I think we might have her. I still have all these dice. Seems like a little overkill. Yeah. Alright, good fight. <laughs> the, like, the dice failing to all come off the screen at the same time. That's great. Well, I've got to give you one thing. Your persistence. Still thinking about your heart's desire? Focused on that win? Then let's set the wheel spinning. 
spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Oh, man, we were so close that time. Almost had it, next time. And now let's stop the wheel on, look at that, another unfortunate loss. Commander, we've just received the support of another Shadow Man 6 welcome to the council. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Enjoy those new emotes in the community and your newfound smug sense of spinning the wheel. Welcome aboard. Did we get the skull every time? We've gotten it every time so far. But I have I have the the greatest hope that we will eventually not land on the skull. Challenge complete. Favorite food, <laughs> the slime. Favorite food, slurp. Hobbies, slurple, slurp, slurp. Likes, slurp. Dislikes, broccoli. And reasoning for entering the dungeon was to sloop, sloop, sloop. Delicious. Delicious. Alrighty. I feel like we should do one more with one more with the jester just to get them all up to uh, 